from what I understand, it's an Olive Garden classic. So I think that's kind of funny considering I've never been to an Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I'm John DeBerry, Star Trek and cocktail nerd, as well as Food 52 Drinks resident. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, an Italian margarita, uh, which combines three of my favorite things, margaritas, amaretto, and rehabilitating drinks that people think are kind of bad or trashy. So let's get started. Now, this drink is probably definitely the simplest drink we've done so far. And that's one of the reasons why I love the margarita because it's like a pretty basic structure, but it has enough kind of in there where you can play around and do some tweaks with it. And the, the major tweaks here are rather than using uh, triple sec as you would normally in a classic margarita, we're swapping out for amaretto, which is an Italian liqueur, hence the name Italian margarita. We've also got a little bit of orange juice in there, which is a challenging ingredient to work with actually because it provides uh, not a lot of acidity, but some sweetness and some dilution. So you want to kind of balance that out with enough lime juice so that the drink still tastes balanced. And then the remaining ingredients, obviously, are tequila and then agave syrup, which is made from a two to one mixture of agave nectar uh, to water. And the reason why you want to do that uh, rather than just using the straight agave nectar from the bottle is that it can be really thick and it doesn't actually dissolve when you make the drink. So you add a little bit of water into it so that it mixes really well. So we are going to start uh, with a quarter ounce of agave uh, syrup, a half ounce of orange juice. Uh, fresh is really, really preferred. The store-bought stuff can be a little artificial, honestly. Uh, and then we've got Three quarter ounces of lime juice. Amaretto. And then we have 1.75 ounces of tequila, which is a little bit of an odd measurement, but because you're using um, a liqueur that has also has alcohol in it, you want to dial back the base spirit a little bit. Otherwise, the drink might taste a bit too strong. Uh, so that's why you'll see that measurement. And the margarita is a great drink to have either up or on the rocks, depending on your personal preference or the weather or whatever. So I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways so you're covered. This is a good like late afternoon drink, I feel like, because it has like the amaretto as opposed to like an orange liqueur uh, is a bit more like intense and maybe slightly kind of more cooler weather. So like definitely it's like a cool off drink, like late afternoon, after the pool kind of kind of vibe, or even like the first week of October. Not to be too specific. <laughs> I'm gonna do the coupe first. When I'm straining a shaken drink out of the strainer, you're using the tool that has the spring here, so it allows you to control the distance between the two edges. And when you have it like this, it lets larger chunks through, but when you compress it a little bit with your finger, you can actually control the size of the chips that make it through. So it's a matter of personal style for a lot of people, but I like to close this as much as possible, so you're only getting the liquid and the very, very fine ice chips as opposed to letting them all go through like that. It's called closing the gate to use insidery bartender parlance. And the garnish here is a wedge of lime. And for me, the important thing about a wedge versus a wheel versus a peel even is that the wedge is an in invitation to the person who gets the drink to squeeze the juice over the drink. So if you kind of like a drink a little bit more have, it has a little more acidity, a little bit more bite to it, and you can squeeze it out and it gives people that option. So I always like to do that for margaritas because I love acidity and I love lime juice. So it's just like, bring it on. So now let's make it on the rocks. It's really much the same except for the glassware uh, and the ice. A lot of margaritas get salt on the rim, and I think that's really great. Salt makes everything taste better. Salt works well to counter bitterness in cocktails. 
Um, and I don't think this drink is bitter enough. So I, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not, not a crime. So feel free to experiment. So there we have it. That's the Italian margarita for you. I think this drink is a great kind of like freaky weird cousin of the classic margarita. Um, so it's a good thing to have in your arsenal if you wanted to sort of make things a little bit more interesting. It's also kind of a little bit more autumnal. So great to have uh, in your back pocket uh, and make you can check out the full recipe at Food 52 and make sure you're subscribed so you can see what uh, fun drinks and hair color and lip color we have in store for you next month. If you're curious, we actually did film this in the same day as the Tokyo Tea. So I'm actually getting really good at changing my hair color really quickly. So who knows what's next?